problematic. Yeah, let's start some problems. Hi guys and welcome back to the internet. Okay, so this is supposed to be fun. We're already in trouble. They were like, stop adding fuel to the fire. And I was like, no, that's I our job. I want to. We are not a speculating van. We are a good friend of Shannon. Of Flex. Shannon's. We'll talk about being a friend of Fletcher later. The reason we're making this video, number one, is to hop on the PR train. Also, I've got a lot of passionate feelings about this. Same. Who I had, anyway? I had so much to say when it was happening, but I didn't say anything. We had to hold our tongues, which is hard for us. In 2019, I was like, I'm going to be really problematic, right? And I wasn't. And then 2020, I wasn't you problematic. You didn't do anything if people thought it was and, problematic. And then I was. Yeah. So I'm going back to being problematic on purpose. Nice. I think we need to light a candle and set an intention. Have you got any spray? I've got some, I've I've got got some, some breath spray. I've got deodorant. <laughs> For anybody who doesn't know the story of Shannon and Fletcher, I'm going to break it You're down. You're gonna make it up. I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm gonna right. break it down into the truth. Okay, okay, number one. So they got together in 2016, right after me and Carrie broke up because she wanted to pursue her musical career, whereas I was already flourishing. So yes. we were kind of like, Striking, yeah, yeah. Heads, so then she went over to Shannon, which was absolutely fine by me because Shannon, as we grew up in the same town, we're best friends. I was like, absolutely no problem, it's not an issue. They were like together, but then like not together, and then, then it got a bit confusing in the middle. And then there were some other people, and there was a song. Shannon and Fletcher are real people. Is that your biggest takeaway? They th they told me that that should be the big takeaway. Oh from no, episode one. Sorry, the biggest takeaway from episode one was the rats. We were at some event which I feel like was the one in Florida, so I feel like it was playlist. But it playlist, big con, but I feel like it. Was playlist but it, it could have been either because I've seen Shannon at both it was of them. Playlist. Shannon showed me a picture of Carrie and said I'm talking to this girl oh, yeah. um, I really like her what do you think and I said this is no offense to Fletcher I think maybe I was a little jealous I was also a bit drunk and I said don't do it Shannon she showed me the picture and she was like yeah she's really cool she's a singer you know this is who she is I'm talking to her and I said you can do better that's what I said that's what you before said before they got together and why did you say that and Shannon was very shocked which looking back I'm like <laughs> yeah she was like yeah I'm really excited about this I'm like, no. she's so beautiful I don't I know. know how you could have said you I don't better. know what was wrong with me I do I have no it's idea it's called jealousy I think potentially it was that. Know, I really like. like I saw a blonde in the picture. I remember. She, I remember what she looked like. She had her like. She had plaits. She looks gorgeous. She. It was cute. And I remember yeah. saying. I think she's gorgeous. Yeah, you did. I remember you saying that. That's that was the why. Did I say it first? And is that why you said I think you can do better? That because... could be what happened because there was a lot of. Wow. You had Ali Hills after you. There was a lot going on. They were on. all after so me. I was like, no, Shannon, don't do it. The only person that's not after me is Carrie. And you know what? That's okay that you admitted that. Yeah. And, and you didn't even I'm mean it. To be honest. Because also, I'm going to be honest too, because they were so honest in their video. Yeah. I want to be that level of honest. Yeah. And do you know what else I wrote down? When Fletcher said, Do your friends not like me? We did not like Fletcher. Do you think she was talking about us though? Because I'm Absolutely. sure Shannon has a no, lot of friends. Me. Sorry. When she said, Does Rose and Rosie still like me? Because that's all I care about and that's so important to me. And that's who I've been thinking of in these four years. Right. I wanted to reach out there and then and say <laughs> we do still like you becky is so hot was released yeah i was shocked to my core and we I were was, also blindsided we were blindsided i said rosie i said rosie am i right no i told you <laughs> i told don't ever act like you you were like well, no. you didn't have to don't act like you that's knew right. what was going on no, that's on. right that's I, right that's, if anything i kept showing you and was like listen to and this and i said what's going on today like, mm. i had to be like no no, no it's a big thing yeah. and i was like so i'm sure like, it'll blow over rose is like we'll go straight to the source we'll go to shannon yeah I, yeah, yeah i did i did so, no but before i went to shannon i was i was quite angry and upset about the situation because i thought like some that it was going to be rose is so hot exactly Re yeah. rosie exactly so i was quite upset about it and i was decorating the office at the time when yes. the album came out and i was listening yes. to every you refused to listen to the album because you were so upset about I was angry. it and i, I was, was hurt upset. i was upset but i was like the thing is rosie it's a real bob isn't it yeah and then i text cammy <laughs> So and I was like, what do you think about this? Did you text Cammy? Yeah, and I was, and she was so neutral, she was so cute. She was like, oh yeah, it's a really great song though. And I was like, it's yeah, a great it's song, a really great, great album. Song. It's, it was hard because yeah. Fletch asked, you know, how did your friends feel about it? And Shannon was like, well, obviously they were like, they don't hate you, but they were like, well, that's not a great thing to do. But Shannon was like, but no one would be as upset as, as me and the people involved. We were. I so was we, more we, upset than <laughs> Shannon. I didn't interact with Harry's social media for over a year. Yeah. Out of sheer loyal ride or die for Shannon. Yeah. Right. But, but it, that I doesn't missed her. mean I missed her too. So do you know what it reminded me of? It reminded me of when Ali Hills wrote the song about you, right? Yeah. 
way back when. Yeah. And um, I was jealous and I didn't like Ali. And then we were on a dog walk and I was like, we're going to LA soon and we're going to meet Ali. And you were like, yeah. And I was like, I want to be her friend. I remember. Yeah. What do you think about the way that they feel about each other? Let's just add some fuel to the fire. Yeah, what, what they told us to say. Do you, do you know what though? Seriously, joking aside. What I got from it, if you want my honest reaction. I, I got two human beings um, at a really good place with what happened. The way that they communicated with each other. Did you notice that every time one of them said something, someone said valid or fair. Thank yeah. you for saying it and thank yeah. you. Yeah. Apology Therapy. accepted. Thank Therapy you for accepted. accepting my apology. No, you're welcome. No, you're welcome. Yeah, they were very... I was like, oh my God, just kiss already. We did a members live stream and someone said, have you seen it yet? We hadn't seen it then because we just watched it today. Mm. We said, we haven't seen it. And someone said, the way they look at each other, I think they still, you know, they're still into each other. And we said to the members, no, I don't think I so. I don't think so. They've got a mutual respect, which I really, I think they've grown that up. really transpires, didn't yeah. it? Yeah, everything good comes to an end. Us. Even us. 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 Don't us. be silly. Don't be silly. I've got a question for you. Go if on. you were, I'm going to actually answer it first. No, I'm going to answer it second. If you were Shannon yes. in Shannon's position, yes, would you be as forgiving? I felt what Shannon said. You know, when she talked about the forgiving, yeah, and she was like, "Oh, you know, I was carrying it in my body, and I was holding on to it, and actually, it was so great. When I saw you, I decided. You know, she said, yeah. when I saw you, Fletcher, I decided. By the way, can I say?" I think she was seeing her at the Eras tour. We didn't <laughs> understand the accent. The accent. Uh, Fletch was saying Eras. And I was like, what's the Eras what store? What is the Eras what's store? What's the Eras store? <laughs> they kept being like, at the Eras store. I was and like, I was what like, is Where's this? the store? Why were they at the store? Like, how random that they Why were there a store? manager drinking at the store? <laughs> a store? Like, at, yeah, at the Eras store. And I was like, oh, like, we've got to go to LA and go to the store. <laughs> Sounds really cool. Eras tour, I assume. <laughs> when Shannon went on the podcast and said she let go of it, we let go of it, don't yeah. you think? Did you let go of it? Well, this is the thing. In answer to my own question, yeah. would I be as forgiving to... F Honestly, no. But I get back together with her and let her do it to me all over again because I'm that kind of person. I'd be like, oh, I don't forgive you, but let's still date. Whereas you, I think, would be like, oh, no. And you wouldn't speak to her for like four years, like Shannon. And yeah. then you'd come to some like really grown up resolution in your heart and mind mm. and spirit and soul and you just let it go whereas i'd still be in the relationship because i fancy her so much so what did you think when fletch said she didn't know it was gonna like kick off the way it did do you, i, do I believe it i agree i agree, right, no, I agree. should i read you my notes please i agree i agree please. no one could have predicted no one could predict. no one could have right. ever predicted i wrote down this putting relationships online is a curse we'd know which it is we're fine i think it's because we're in england I actually agree. Uh, it is. There's no error store. There's yes. no error store to bump into anyone. <laughs> so yeah. we're just in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. You don't have to worry about making an error going to the store to get we're a new fine. one. We're just in a field and in the middle of nowhere. No, it's there's fine. no drama. It's, we're safe it's here. very boring. Yeah, we're f safe from the curse. The only thing that's ever happened really that's even remotely dramatic is the fact that one of our chickens poked our son's eye. Let's talk about them spending lockdown together. Like, yeah. do we I believe... remember that. I remember talking to Shannon about it and I remember when they stopped being in lockdown together. Yes, I remember. We were there the whole time, guys. We were there. There's no speculation. We went along for the ride. No, we were there. Literally, anything that ever happens in Shannon's life, I send her a voice Well, we've got baby or not, we're there. And I'm like, tell me everything. Uh -huh. I'm like, my manager wants to know. Yeah, it's list. true. She does want to know. She's asked us to text her immediately. And then she texts me in the morning like, has Shannon replied? And I'm like, obviously so not. Later. How would you cope? being in lockdown with an ex. Oh, I'd kill myself. Had you ever heard the story of how they got together and how they met? Because I really loved that. I, I've never heard it before. But they like, said it online about she'd been following and then they Yeah, no, no, I know. But like when they actually like, when they actually met and they kissed what? that night and stuff, wouldn't you like, oh, how cute. Yeah, I hadn't, I, I oh, hadn't you're saying you had Oh yeah, no, no I, I, I never heard that. I hadn't, so I just told Shannon not to yeah. go. <laughs> yeah. I wrote down Shannon and Fletcher are like Brio, wrong ends of the magnets. That's your notes. Because they said it was like on again, off again, and they said one would run towards. Because they, they said, always repel, babe. No, don't but they, they? Said, they said one would go towards and one would go away, and then Shannon would run to Fletcher, Fletcher would go away. They said it was like that, and that's like that's like, like Brio. Brio. That's like Brio. That's really deep. And she and could put she could put that in a song. <laughs> I put rats. Why jump? Whenever I think about Shannon, I think about this one like one specific time because basically I had a panic attack in an Uber on the way to see Shannon Fletcher at like a gathering at someone's house. And I had a panic attack because I have 
panic attacks about being kidnapped, which I've just spoken to my hypnotherapist about to try and get rid of. And so I never do this, but because I had a panic attack, I got to Shannon's and two things were happening with me. I really needed to poo and I had really bad bio. And I said to Shannon, uh, can I get to your bathroom? Because I'd not been in this house before. It must be Shannon's house. And I was like, can I get in your bathroom? Because I need to go to the toilet and I smell. No, you said I need to poo. Yeah. And I, Shannon was like, you don't smell. And I was like, no, no, I, I, I've sweated and I smell. And I had like a sleeveless top on. Like I've got photos from that night. She asked if she could smell me and she sniffed my armpit. She, why did she do it? She like, I like lifted her. up my arm. I think it's bold. That was the first night we met Fletcher. And, and do you remember how excited Shannon was that we were going to meet her? Yeah, but she I was like, don't go yet. Kara's coming. She's excited to meet you. And I was like, oh, that's a lie, but I'll take it. Um, and yeah. She's so lovely. Oh, she was yeah, whenever I think of Shannon, it's like this, like, I always think of needing a Is that pool. what you think about when you think of Shannon? Yeah, because it upsets me so much and it, I need to see her again, even though we've probably seen each other loads since. God, yes, when I have. think of Shannon, I just think about all the people that she slept with that I wish I'd slept with. Yeah. We're all best friends again. We're all this best friends. The foursome's back. The foursome's back. Rose, Rosie, Carrie and Shannon. Yes. And that is the that's foursome. The foursome. <laughs> that's the band that we're taking the on the band. road. But don't tell them that. Should we play true or false? True or false? Okay. Have I ever, with my own money, bought Fletcher's merch? True. True or false? You're happy that we're friends with Fletcher again? I don't think Fletcher would even know that we didn't interact with her for a year. It hurt her when she was talking about us. I don't think she cares. I'm joking, I'm joking. I said to Shannon, do you want me to unfollow Fletcher? Yeah. She was like, no, you do what you want. And I was like, oh, she's a good person. <sighs> yeah, I would have been like, everyone unfollow. I was gonna say, you would not have as much no, grace. I wouldn't. Who have you been punching? Basically, I, I had to punch a rat because it fell from a what? tree. I've written, I could feel you. Babe, why did you bother making these notes? Oh my god, I'm gonna visit Aristotle. <laughs> she became Fletcher, not Carrie. I have sexual charity with mum. What does that say? Babe, have you been. I have. Have you been. Sexual um... chemistry with them. <laughs> with them. In Smash or Pass, I did not smash Shannon. But I neither did I. Watch new, didn't even. But let me explain watching, myself. Watching them on the Emma mattress or wherever they were sat on, <laughs> and I, had I had sexual chemistry with both of them. We're such good friends, and that's why I passed Shannon because I wouldn't mm. want it. I wouldn't want the friendship to be weird. Mm. I'm not friends with Carrie, and never will be, so I can have sex with her all I want. It's the energy, and I know exactly what it is you like, and I know why you like her. Yeah, I like it too. Slightly unhinged. Yeah. <laughs> Joking, Carrie, I could make a song about you. But if you're angry at me, you can write a song about it if you want. She's not angry, she just messaged me. Can I say, I thought they looked their best they've ever they've looked. They've ever looked. And ever. I don't know what that says energetically, but they, I, I thought they both looked the best. Maybe they've they looked. bought their clothes from the error store. Yes. <laughs> yes. The place where you find peace and forgiveness. <laughs> we're so stupid. <laughs> Which is why we're so successful. No, so babe. Together. No, babe. We're problematic. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, of course. Although they tried not to make their relationship public, it was public, right? Yeah. And then they broke up. And we're lucky because even though we've put our relationship online mm. and endured like people saying stupid things about us, we've not been for a proper big breakup and had. No, we've never through. experienced it. And I don't know how they did that yeah. so respectfully. Like, you know, earlier you said about how they spoke to each other, so grown up and stuff. I just. I could not resist having a little dig if it was me. I thought it was brutal when Fletcher came to pick up her hard drive full of porn and Shannon was like, here's your porn bag. I'm seeing someone else. I'm seeing someone else. Yeah, that she was like, don't worry, I'm sleeping with Rose and always have been. Yes, and that was fine. Do you know what I think? And then this is problematic because this is my true thoughts. I think, I think knowing not a lot about the intricate nature of their relationship. Knowing everything that ever happened and ever will. Exactly. I think that it was quite difficult for Carrie to see Shannon move on, which is fine because she explicitly said that. Did she say that? I feel like she did. My nose is running. It was difficult for Carrie because, and I appreciate this, being as famous as I am, I understand yeah. that, you know, sometimes you're not sure what you want in life and you've got this huge dream of being, like, you know, a superstar and also, you know, you want to live, you want to have all these experiences, but at the same time, you've got Shannon who is a superstar star and it's like oh my god what do i do <sighs> where was i going with this i can't remember no i don't basically i can understand both parties yes would i have acted differently if i was carrie no <laughs> would, I, would i have been more angry than shannon was yeah if it was me this is what i would have done right if i was fletcher i would have probably done exactly what fletcher did and if i was shannon i'd go way harder with revenge 
way harder. I would hate her, get everyone to hate her, but then maybe... I'm so happy they met at the Error Store. Me too. Oh my god, they're so perfect for each other. I wonder if they'll get back together. <laughs> It's hard because we're all you've got left and you don't like it, but that's what you're thinking. <laughs> we don't have your drama anymore. I'm sorry we're not drama. We're having babies. Maybe further down the line when we hit our midlife crisis My and with everything's one. all out there online. Maybe then yeah. we'll break up. Maybe then we'll break up, but I'm sorry, we don't write songs. Well, we do write songs. To summarize. To summarize. Uh, they clearly had sex. They're clearly getting back together. We should all hold hope. It was a huge PR stunt that Shannon was involved they in. They were all involved. Yeah. No one was blindsided. No one made a mistake. <laughs> The drama. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, can you see them getting back together? Absolutely. Yeah, me too.